Hi everybody, and thanks for joining Frederick County Public Library's virtual programming. While our branches are closed, we hope that you guys will enjoy these videos as you look for new ways to explore, invent, and transform at your home. My name is Miss Amy, and welcome to School Skills in a Flash, where I show you some fun and easy ways to help your preschooler get ready for kindergarten. Today, we're gonna show you how to hold a pair of scissors correctly. Now I know this can be kind of scary. A lot of people don't want their kids playing with scissors, but it is something that they do need to know how to do. So let me show you how to hold a pair of scissors correctly. The first thing you're gonna do is you wanna get a pair of safety scissors or child scissors for your child. And then once you do get those, you wanna make sure you show them the different sizes on the handle, the big size and the smaller size. Um, Depending on how large your child's hand is, you would have them fit the three fingers or the two um, into this side and the thumb in the other side. At this point, have the child just sit there and play with the scissors, obviously while you're watching them to make sure they don't cut their hair or anything like that. Um, have them play and show them how when they open their hand and close their hand, what they the reaction that is causing the scissors to to do so practice on opening and closing your hand once they've practiced that go ahead and give them a scrap piece of paper or any type of paper that you have that you don't care about getting cut up go ahead and give that to them um, now at this age it's going to be very natural for them to want to cut with their thumb on the bottom all you have to do is gently remind them and turn their wrist over and say keep your thumb on top and then that way they can they can go ahead and start cutting the scrap piece of paper to open and close open and close now you know how to show your child how to hold a pair of scissors correctly now this is a skill that develops over time um, they're not going to be able to cut down a straight line right away. That is something that they have to build up to. Um, and all you can do is encourage that growth and development. Give them to the time to, to play around and explore, obviously supervised, um, with the scissors. Make sure that you reiterate to them that they're not allowed to use the scissors while you know you're not around they're only allowed to cut on things that you provide them so they don't run around the house cutting everything up um, but please allow them to develop the skill don't be scared it's okay again thank you for joining frederick county public libraries make sure you follow our page so you can check out some more great virtual programming bye